name is Irv Gotti. I'm the president and boss of Murder Rank Records, which is one of the greatest hip hop music label in hip hop history. Murder Inc.'s Irv Gotti is the man with the Midas touch. It's 2002. Everything that I'm touching is selling millions of units. I was on top of the world and seen like the world from the top of that mountain, and then got knocked off. I had to go through something terrible, which is a federal indictment for money laundering. Music, money. Having ties to accused murderers. The trial is expected to They took basically everything from me, the deal and my label. And it kind of put a black cloud over my head where nobody really wanted to mess with me. Tonight, music mogul Irv Gotti got a lift from his attorneys and a verdict that found him not guilty on all counts. We did it! Damn! We did it! Not guilty! <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to fucking deal with me. <laughs> We're presently in the midst of one of the greatest hip hop comebacks that's ever been lived because I don't think no one has been through what me my company has been through, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. What's happening, baby? I got a lot of acts, but the one that is always going to be, like, synonymous with, with Murder, Rank is, is Ja. Ja is, like, my most beloved friend, and above and beyond that, he's my most, most prized artist. The, from the first day we met, like, we've been riding ever since. Yeah. We've been mashing since 15 years. 15 years. To get Murdering back is it's more or less having, getting a hit single for job because when he's hot, we're hot. Yo, there's nothing that could ever replace Rule as far as Murdering. When Rule goes, everything goes. Yo, that's why it's so important that we get one record right now just to smash the record. Just, that's it. And I'm gone. It's definitely tricky finding the single. It's got to be magic, because that's what we get our money with. That's what drives people into the stores to buy the album. You understand? So everything that we're doing as a company is geared up for this release and geared up to make sure Jock has the best chances of selling the most records. Yeah, that shit up there means something, you something know what I'm saying? Damn right. Most dangerous. Damn right. What's up, your man? Godfather. I went to see Russell Simmons because he's definitely one of the godfathers of this, this whole hip hop shit. I had my first joint venture with his company, Def Jam. I like just hanging and talking with him from time to time and getting his advice. I want to ask you a serious question. You have always been ahead of the hip hop curve of all of us. We follow and chase you. So what's your thoughts and feelings on the record business? Well, the record business is fine if you got to make hit records. Me getting a hit has never been an issue. I'll, I'm going to get a hit. I work at that radio. I don't really need them for anything. I'm saying, like, y'all going to make me do this again before you show me some motherfucking money? Everything is on you. Get a hit. This music business is fickle, and they go with the heat. You hot, they want to be next to you. But sometimes it's good to hear it from an outside person anyway, just to see how they think about it. When you get one hit, they start smelling, oh, oh, Irv's coming back. I better not be mean to him. It's like they want to fuck me, but it's kind of like a fear. Now be careful, Irv might get hot. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bunch of niggas out there that say he ain't never gonna get hot. <laughs> I'm so confident that I never bought that line. I'm hot. You know, I love you, right? I love you. Irv. All right, of course. That's, that's all right. You know, I love you, man. Come on. All right. But yo, you... right, what they're saying, I want you to understand. I'm kind of love is, you know, the man kind of, masculine kind of love. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, so I'm going to yoga. No. Yeah, Jai's always been a person who makes big, radio-friendly, chick-friendly records. But it's really important to put forth to the people the proper and right single to get people to buy the record. Yeah. I got the shit, though. Hold up, man. This nigga, where's well, Bucky? Well, he ain't come up here today? He's coming. Yeah, I need the sound effects. 
I, I did the second verse with your parts in there with me and you in there, you know what I'm saying, back and forth the time. Never alone, somebody's listening. That's what I did for the hook, but it's under. It's gonna be low while the niggas talking. talking up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But nigga, that's hot when it stops. You coming right here. Yo, nigga, what the fuck is going on? Niggas is trying to set us up. Remember the broad neck with the tat from their neck? That whole record right there is called Enemy of the State. And it's basically me and Ja taking our reality, which was my federal probe, and making and doing something creative. I remember that. What about it? Nigga, shit, you hollering. Yo, you gotta hear this shit, nigga. You got it done? It's done. It just ain't on the fucking thing, man. Wait, you laid it? Yeah, I laid it. I laid it. It's a good record, but it's not the single. But it's definitely something that's on the album. I went to the city, back to the studio, and met up with Jack because I wanted to talk to him about the single. The way I see it, and the way I feel, it's got to be—it's got to be something that'll play in the club as well as the radio. Yeah, I'm gonna bang him. I ain't worried about it right now. Jack needs to put out an album, but the single is vital to the album coming out. I'm about to just do what I do. I'm about to do some free shit, too. You know what I'm saying? Start putting out, just to keep putting out, just, you know what I'm saying, music, a little freestyle or whatever. Just come, just come. Just let niggas have some music, man. Yeah, but what purpose does that serve? Well, man, listen, I just want to let niggas hear my voice, man. I got shit I want to say, you know what I'm saying? If you just put out music just to put out music, it's just, OK, we putting out music. Well, I, but I don't you see have... how it could hurt. You understand what I'm saying? I don't see how me just putting out music that's hot can hurt. I see the hurt. Everybody's doing it. Everybody's done it. I'm not putting out records that's going on the album. That's where me and you will clash all day. Yo, we got to clash on this one. We're going to clash so on this one. So you're saying because, yo, throw away great records. It's not throwing it away. It guys. is. It's not. If it's we not. can't sell it, it's throwing it away. See, that's where the guy that sits down and makes the records and the guy that produces the records have a different prowess. Because, nigga, I'm like, I'll make more records. And you're like, fuck that. It's a hot record. Don't throw a hot record away. I'm like, it's fucking music. We make music. We, all right, it was a record. It's a good record. So what? I'm not with that. Let me tell you some ill shit, Gotti. Like, nigga, I'm a beast. I put out fucking billion mixtapes with a whole bunch of shit. And, nigga, here come my album. And after that come out, guess what? I got five more mixtapes of shit. I'm just going to fight with you on certain records. But I, I want to put something out. We got to do it the right way, man. This business scares me. Because you get, yo, me, you, everybody, you're going to get one shot. And, and if you drop the ball in that one shot, they're going to be like, yo, cool. homie, you could get up out of here. So I have views, but then Ja also has views on how to do this. And sometimes our views conflict. I'm 100% cool. Ja just wants to bless hip hop and just show him that he got a lot of music. But I would like to do that in a different way. You know, we could make a bunch of records, but until I I feel like we got one that could crush radio, uh, I'll wait till we get, it, get the right one. But yo, I'm out. I'll see you later. Yo, I get busy, yo. Like real talk. Like real talking. Your dad, your father. Yo, when it comes to the sauce, that's a, that's a good sauce. That's a good sauce. Maybe you should bottle it. Maybe you should bottle it. I should. What would we call it? Oh my gosh. IG's secret sauce. <laughs>